Hello, I'm Bonnie Adams, curator of the Kenneth M. Freeman Legacy Collection. Hello, I'm James Burns, Executive Director for the Desert Caballeros Western Museum in Wickenburg, Arizona. Ken Freeman was a cowboy and an artist, and, and a lot of his heart and soul was in Wickenburg. And for the Desert Caballeros Museum to honor Ken as the centennial artist for Arizona, uh, for this upcoming exhibition is it's another dream come true. Ken was a firm believer in dreams and living your dream, which he did every day of his life. So um, I just want to say thank you for this important exhibition, very important. Well, you're welcome, Bonnie, and it's a privilege for us to bring uh, the exhibition to Wickenburg. We know that uh, Wickenburg was a place that was very near and dear to Ken, and he loved to go there and paint. And so many of his subjects were from there as well. And we think it's important that uh, as one of the very significant artists in Arizona during the 20th century that we recognize uh, his work. The lead painting for this exhibition is Hard Day's Night. It has a wonderful provenance. In 1981, this Hard Day's Night this image won Best of Show in the San Diego Museum of Art in a group show called The Cowboy. So Ken hung very proudly in the presence of Norman Rockwell and other great artists. Yes, we're very excited, Bonnie, to have Hard Day's Night in this exhibition as the lead piece. I first saw the painting in person when I visited the Booth Western Art Museum in Cartersville, Georgia, which of course was the world premiere of uh, Kenneth Freeman artist at work. And I loved that painting then, and I think it's interesting that that's really what led us to be where we are today. Ken knew at a really early age that he was going to be an artist mm -hmm. and a cowboy. He had two dreams. He was going to be a, a great artist, and he was going to be a cowboy. And he had the full support of his mother. When he was eight years old, he would tell me this story. He told me so many times because it was the foundation for everything that he did. He said, my mother would take me downtown for my art lesson, and he would study uh, art in youth art classes. Mm -hmm. And then she would take him to the movie theaters and leave him there for the whole day. And he would just go from cowboy movie to cowboy movie to <laughs> cowboy movie. Well, one day when he was eight years old, he told me, I came home from my movies and my art lessons, and there was a big round table in their living room. He said, I just took my hand and I pushed everything off that table and I said, this is my studio. He painted there till he was 19 years of age. Wow. I have a wonderful black and white photograph of him sitting. There's a window and he's sitting at an easel and the table, um, the table is right there and it has all his paints on there. And uh, it's, it's just a priceless moment because it really, it really defines what Ken was from very early until his final time. Mm -hmm. Where did Ken get his formal training in art? He went to the American Academy of Art in Chicago. Okay. And he was doing all of his studies at the American Academy of Art while he was in high school. Oh. So he actually graduated high school the same time as he graduated from the American Academy of Art the same year. My goodness. <laughs> he, was, he worked very, very hard. All he did was paint and paint and paint. And he was in very good company there. Some of the great Western artists of the 20th century uh, were also there. At, uh, close to the same time, I believe. Yes, within a few years. Mm -hmm. within a, he actually apprenticed for Haddon Sunbloom. Oh, okay. The, the wonderful grandfather of illustration, Santa mm -hmm. Claus is drinking Coca-Cola. He finished many of those paintings for Haddon. Oh, wow. And roughly the same time, uh, renowned Western artist Howard Turpening was there as well. Yes, they did. They knew each other. Howard was just a couple of years ahead of, of Ken. Oh, OK. I've often noted a similarity in their uh, technique. Their style is a little bit different, but the technique is, is definitely similar. Uh, probably a lot of that comes from their training. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a wonderful place to study classical art. It must have been. One of the most um, interesting things about this exhibition is uh, the body of work. Mm -hmm. Ken has left a phenomenal body of work for me to curate and show the world. It's divided uh, into many 
different collections, but the two Western collections, Portraits of the West and Kenneth M. Freeman, Artist at Work, you have made a marvelous selection to get the best of the best out of this. Well, thank you, and that's why we're so excited. We appreciate you working with the museum to allow us to choose um, works from both of those exhibitions. And I think the exciting thing for viewers is going to be that they've never shown together in close proximity to one another before. So it's unlikely that most viewers have been able to see uh, both of those collections or really a, a good um, chunk of his Western work. And so here they'll be able to see some of both all in one place. We're really pleased that this exhibition will be up from October of 2011 all the way until early March of 2012, which means that it'll be on view during National Black History Month in February. So be sure to uh, save the time in February to come by and visit the museum then, and you'll get to see some of Ken's work that uh, related to the Buffalo Soldiers, which were such an important part of Arizona history. And Ken was a Buffalo soldier. Mm -hmm. He did the most amazing painting of Sergeant Major Bill, the historian for the 9th Memorial Arizona Buffalo Soldiers. And he also did the bust, uh, a sculpture, life size. You know, Ken always told me, if you can draw and paint, you can sculpt. And I watched him put that sculpture together in seven days, wow. seven days. He put the whole thing together in his tiny little studio. He had the painting beside him and he had a lot of photographs. He had photographed Bill like all around three dimensions. Mm -hmm. And I saw him pull that beautiful sculpture life size right there together. It, it was just, just an amazing experience. That's the nice thing about being able to include both Ken's sculptures and his paintings in the show. I believe we have about a half dozen of his sculptures. And it shows the versatility of Ken's work, um, that he had such skill as a painter, but also as a sculptor. And it's not every artist that's able to do that. At the Desert Caballeros Western Museum, we're very fortunate to have a long list of contributors and foundations and volunteers to thank for making our annual exhibitions and programming possible, including Cowgirl Up and Ken Freeman, Artist at Work. In particular, I would like to thank three sponsors, those being the National Endowment for the Arts, the Arizona Commission on the Arts, and the Wellick Foundation from Wickenburg. So please join us for this very important centennial exhibition, Artists at Work, and you can learn more about the museum online at www.westernmuseum.org. We're a short drive from downtown Phoenix, and we are Arizona's most Western museum.